There is a rumor I've seen on social media for weeks concerning the new coronavirus. I'm sure many of you have seen someone claim that it more aggressively targets Asians compared to members of other races. Now that there is a substantial outbreak in Italy, I think it's important that people have the best available data. First of all, there is at least one academic paper that makes this claim. A group of six Chinese researchers published a paper on January 26 that claims this. So, first of all, it is generally agreed that infection occurs through ACE2 receptors in lung tissue. ACE2 stands for angiotensin converting enzyme 2. In their paper, they say Asian males have significantly higher amounts of ACE2 receptors compared to Caucasian and Sub-Saharan African males. However, their sample size was teeny tiny. They only looked at eight lung tissue samples. I initially assumed they meant eight samples from each racial group, but it is just eight samples overall. So this is not conclusive at all. The sample size is just far too small. The same group of Chinese researchers also state that the fatality rate could be as high as 15%. This is a very disturbing number, however, I don't think it is really that high. Right now, I think it's too early to assign any kind of clear fatality rate. Using the information put out by John Hopkinson, my own estimate would be 2 to 4%. But this could increase as more information becomes available. Now, Gushai Kai, and I'm probably butchering that name, is an assistant professor at the University of South Carolina. He published his own paper about this on February 11th. He took several existing data sets of lung tissue samples and compared them. Now, he compared the expression of ACE2 receptors based on Asian versus Caucasian, male versus female, under 60 versus over 60, and smokers versus former smokers versus people who have never smoked. He says that among people with no history of smoking, he found no difference in the expression of ACE2 receptors between races, genders, and age groups. He did conclude that former smokers, especially people who recently quit, have the highest expression of ACE2 receptors. In other words, he believes that people who recently quit smoking are the most vulnerable. He also found current smokers to be more vulnerable than people who have never smoked. In this case, he did find a racial difference. He said Asians who smoke had a higher expression of ACE2 receptors than Caucasians who smoke. So he concluded that any genetic difference in vulnerability between Asians and Caucasians was the result of the expression of ACE2 receptors from a combination of genetic and smoking factors, with smoking making someone more susceptible to corona, but even more so if you are Asian. Now, several Chinese doctors and researchers have stated that they believe the virus affects males worse than females. Goshai Kai suggests that Chinese men are simply more likely to be former or current smokers than Chinese women, and that is what is accounting for this. Now, his sample size is still small, but it's far, far larger than the first study that I talked about. Also note that while a bunch of papers on the coronavirus are being published right now, none of them have been peer-reviewed yet. So currently there are outbreaks in South Korea, Iran, and Italy, in which there is no known origin of the infection. There are now 12 confirmed deaths in Iran, 8 in South Korea, and 6 in Italy. In Italy, the infections are in Lombardia and Veneto. The epicenter of the infection is currently believed to be a town right outside of Milan. I'm told that bars and restaurants in Milan are shut down, major companies have people working from home, tourists have disappeared, all right, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully I've added some clarification and you're not just relying on rumor mills now. Now, you might notice my voice is off. I have a bit of a sore throat and a stuffy nose, but I assure you it is not a respiratory tract infection. It's not corona. And 
please consider making a donation to this YouTube channel as YouTube does not like my videos. And please support my sponsor, Patriotic Flags, the online flag store, patriotic-flags.com. And click the subscribe button. New video every few days.